Hey everyone, so a little while ago on the channel I did a few videos comparing the three most common tunings that are used in Celtic rhythm guitar, so standard, drop D and dadget. So just to follow on from that, I'm going to talk in today's video about some of the main advantages and disadvantages of each of those tunings and how they might factor into which tuning you choose to use as your main guitar tuning for this style of guitar. Okay, so just for context, I mainly play in standard tuning, but if we talk about the one kind of main overall advantage, I would say it's kind of it probably is an objective advantage that standard and dadgad have over drop D. And this doesn't necessarily mean that they're better, but it's just, you know, a kind of a strong advantage that they have. In standard tuning and in dadgad, there's sort of like a home key that has a really big, full, open sound. So in standard tuning, that's E major, and in dadgad, that's D major, okay? And some of you might be thinking, well, drop D has that too, because it has the low, the low D note, but... What I think really creates the big open sound in standard and dadgad is the fact that it's not just your lowest note, but it's your top two high strings are also, you know, in your home key. So we in, in standard tune, we get this big full E major sound and you can keep those strings ringing throughout so many chords. And you can also do that in, if we were tuned to dadgad just now and we were playing in D major, you could do the exact same thing. Now, with drop D, because you're some, you're sort of in a midway point, sort of, between standard and drop D, you don't quite get that. You can still do plenty of really cool things in it. But if you are a fan of a huge open sound, um, and, you know, you're kind of choosing between um, the three main tunings, you know, for your for your main one, for this style of guitar, I would say you'd probably be more inclined to go with either standard or dadgad. Now, just because standard and dadgad have this super open home key and drop D doesn't as much, it certainly doesn't mean that drop D is an inferior tuning. So what you get with drop D is you get a little bit, you get the best of both worlds in a way. So you get some of the versatility of standard tuning, but you get that super deep bass note that Dadgad has. So if you're someone that is still kind of working out what tuning you want to play in, and you still want some versatility in the kind of chord voicings you, you're doing, but you do really like that sort of low, deep sound that Dadgad offers, Drop D can be a really good, you know, middle point instead of picking standard or Dadgad. So now with standard tuning, which is the main tuning that I play in, the reason that I play predominantly in standard tuning is because I played the guitar for some time before I came to this style, okay? so. I'd already learned, you know, the vast majority of my chord shapes and things like that in standard tuning. So when I came to start backing tunes and things like that, I obviously just began in standard tuning. And it wasn't until quite a bit into the kind of learning process of this, you know, this Celtic rhythm guitar style that I even became aware that people played in Dadgad the whole time. So I was first exposed to Dadgad when I heard Ed Boyd play with Fluke on a on a video on YouTube um, quite a few years ago now. So um, I think that probably had a, a big part to, to do with why I'm playing in standard tuning all the time. But for me, I think standard tuning, as I was saying, it has a really nice home key. It has your E major home key, you can do all your shapes. But it also has quite a few other keys which still sound really kind of big and punchy without having to use a capo and stuff. So G major, all your kind of, singer-songwriter chords, just slightly adapted, can sound really punchy, but they also, you know, we have options further up the neck, in G major, loads of options, and then we've got some really punchy chords around here as well, loads of different options, so, and that's true with quite a few keys in, in standard tuning, you know, so like C as well, C major, nice kind of, your standard shapes down the bottom, but we've got kind of nice higher shapes, things like that, and then also with open shapes further up the neck too, like these. So that's what draws me to the sound of standard tuning, but I also, if you are someone that's interested in more than one genre of music, um, it obviously makes more sense probably to, to play in standard tuning so you can go between, but I think a big advantage of standard tuning that it has over Dadgad in particular is I will generally at a session not ever really need to use a capo. Um, you might get the odd thing where, you know, if someone's doing a, uh, a tune in F major, say, you can absolutely play in F major, but you're not gonna get a really nice kind of big sound unless you use a capo. But I think 
that's the main problem. Not the main problem, but it's a, it's, it is a disadvantage of Dadgad that if you want big open chords, um, you're going to have to use a capo if you're if you're playing in quite you know like a few keys in a set of tunes. So you absolutely can play in any key without a capo in Dadgad as well but you're going to have to use a lot more kind of closed off chord shapes. Now, as I was saying, with drop D, what you get is something that's kind of in between standard and dadgad. So you get the really nice kind of low D note that you would get in dadgad. But you also can still use a lot of the chords that you would be playing in standard tuning if they don't involve the lowest string. And even if they do involve the lowest string, they only take a small bit of adjustment, you know, to, to work in, in drop D as well. So one thing that we haven't talked about yet, and it's a massive advantage of dadgad tuning, is how easy it is to kind of get playing along with other people quickly. And the reason for that is you only really need to learn two or three shapes in dadgad, and you're kind of good to go in most keys if you've got a capo. So if you could already strum a real strumming pattern and a, maybe a jig strumming pattern, if you learn these two or three shapes, you're kind of good to go in dadgad. So you've got a kind of normal D shape, and then you've got a minor shape. And these are all two finger shapes as well, and a kind of major shape. So once you learn these few shapes, you can then use your capo to just change the key and you can use the same shapes again. Now that's something that you couldn't really do in drop D or standard tuning. It's gonna take you a little bit more time to build up the kind of knowledge of chords that you would need to be comfortable with whatever key is shouted out at a session or something like that. So I would say the best way to kind of make your choice between these tunings is to take into account some of the things that I've said in this video, but the main way would be really to listen to different players playing in each of the tunings. So some recommendations for myself for guitarists in each of these tunings would be, if we start off with Dadgad, I would say Ed Boyd from Fluke and Innes Watson, who's a Scottish guitarist, and he plays a very different style of dadgad you'll, than you'll see most people play. So he plays a lot more kind of, you know, far stretched out shapes and he'll play a lot more kind of closed off shapes, but it's quite a unique way of playing that he has. And then you've got Ed Boyd who plays probably in a more kind of classic dadgad style, but with, just with a really, really great, you know, kind of rhythmic right hand. In drop D tuning, I would definitely recommend John Doyle. I'm sure a lot of you will have heard of John Doyle before, but John Doyle is probably one of the most famous, if not the most famous drop D player in the world. And for very good reason, he's an unbelievable guitar player. And he's also probably the reason that, or one of the reasons that drop D has become so popular in the last 10, 20 years. Now in standard tuning, I would say, standard tuning seems to be a lot more common in Scotland than it is in Ireland, but a great Irish guitar player who plays in standard tuning is Tony Byrne. And another guitarist that would be well worth checking out is Anna Massey, who's a, a great, great Scotch guitarist in standard tuning mainly. Okay, so thank you for watching this video, guys. If you want more lessons and tips and things like that, you can check out my Patreon, which is linked in the description below. But if you enjoyed the video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you in the next one.